What's up? It's Cyclonus, and I'm here once again with some more Xbox related news. First, I want to give a big shout out to the one and only Hebot, who's doing great things in the gaming community. I will leave a link down below to his YouTube channel, and I also want to give a shout out to the whole Intro Media Gaming family. And I will also leave the link to IntroMediaGaming.com. Go check it out. All support is appreciated. Now, on to this video. Now we all know how the media has this bogus image about Microsoft having this track record of not being very developer friendly, right? Well all the people who really believe this are about to eat their own words. But it makes no sense when there's a thing called ID at Xbox. But anyway, Microsoft recently announced, which I think is great news for Xbox One owners and even better for game developers. Microsoft is living up to its promise to turn the Xbox One consoles into development kits. Now this means any retail console will have the full access of operating as a dev kit, allowing anyone to develop their own games. Microsoft is saying that this process will be more similar to the Windows Store, which should make it simple and faster to submit your game and have it approved. Also said is that Microsoft plans to have the dev kit available somewhere around May, meaning developers will probably start making games over the summer, and devs will have access to beta setups so they can test their games with the community before releasing them. So this could mean that the Xbox One owners could try out games before their release. This is fucking awesome. This also means that we'll be seeing loads of new apps by indie developers in November, which will be playable across all Microsoft devices. Another feature that Microsoft promised us is also making its way, and that is background apps. Microsoft says it will now be possible for apps to run in the background while you do other things on your Xbox One and other Windows 10 devices. Microsoft has said they were going to turn the Xbox One into a dev kit since almost before the console was even launched. I myself thought this idea was scrapped, but it has resurfaced and is now a reality. Allowing access for anyone to the dev kit is yet another step in the right direction and another win for Xbox and Microsoft and another crushing blow to Sony's PlayStation 4, making Sony's latest console even more inferior as Microsoft keeps pushing boundaries and innovation with the Xbox One by changing the world's perception of what can be done on the gaming console and changing the face of gaming as we know it. While Sony's PlayStation 4 has remained almost unchanged since its launch. I'll go ahead and say this. What baffles me is how could anyone choose a PlayStation 4 over an Xbox One with Windows 10, Xbox Live superior online structure, the new Xbox One experience update. Not only that, but updates that brings new features and functionality just about every month. Also part of an amazing universal Windows ecosystem where Xbox gaming and entertainment can be achieved on other Microsoft devices across the world. Superior gaming lineup, Direct X12, entertainment streaming, a huge selection of apps, superb functionality, Xbox Elite controller, which some say is the greatest controller ever made, superb social networking, and an ever-changing UI interface that adapts to the current entertainment, gaming, and social media world, an incredible snap feature and functionality. I could go on and on about this, but I'll end it here, and I will leave a link to this article. I'm Cyclonus, and my opinion counts.